and trading view community so just a quick look at the uh, s p 500 cfd index with the uh, uh us cpr coming out uh, later today we just wanted to look at it as a uh, long-term you know overview we can see how amazing this trend has been and how long it's been going for and we can see it's in its current leg at the moment and um we'll zoom in a moment in in, in a moment sorry but yeah we can just really see how um you know how great this trend has been and also gives us a bit of perspective about where current price is at the moment so i'm not saying there's going to be a big correction soon or anything like that but we do have a look at how far we are off that main trend line at the moment um yeah the market really is off it and it's even moved on to its third third you know fast trend uh off this um, you know breakaway fast trend that we saw as well. So taking all into account, you do wonder how much further or longer this can go for. But there's definitely no time frame or time limit on how far it can go for. But I definitely think it should be something that's kept in the back of our mind as traders that we are pretty far off, you know, long term branches, etc. So if we just uh, start to uh, zoom in and just have a look at it more um, on the short term perspective, uh, we can see um, that. We've been moving up quite nicely. We had that pullback that marked in that second point. I'll just adjust that. And we can see that second point here. We've had a couple of tests there. Sellers had a bit of a dip at pushing the market lower. That was all rejected. And we had that nice move up. Now, all you know, all of the major in, uh, US indices are showing this similar pattern. Why we chose the S&P 500 is it's a lot closer to new record territory than uh, the others. Uh, the NASDAQ is also quite close. But uh, as well on top of that, we I don't do many reports on this index. So I thought it'd be good to have a look at it. There wasn't too much separating it. Now, if we have a look here, you can see really not too uh, far distance from there you can see the moving averages of um, you know the, the faster moving averages above uh, the slower signifying that you know the averages are positive we can see a nice higher low here another higher low here um, market moving up we've had a short-term little um, move lower a few sessions previous several sessions ago and we've seen another you know snap back we saw a bit of a move down yesterday it was counted out and we saw buyers come back into the fold to post you know another positive session and so far today we're seeing uh things in a positive light just now as well and i think the real question is with cpi coming out uh what's that going to do is it going to continue to uh project this um positive um Positive price action that we've seen yesterday after the PPI did come in a bit warmer than expected. And um, that did initially start some selling. So you can see here the market did move down. But comments from uh, Powell sort of looked to um, smooth things over and um, you know did set uh, off a bit of a turnaround for risk markets with stocks rising and the US dollar falling. So will we see a some of that continue today uh, what are we going to see in the CPI and will the CPI and retail sales send signals that do put you know project further buying and could we even see a test of the previous record or a break of that record setting up new uh, all-time highs or is it going to uh come in against what's being thought and then put in a bit of panic and fear and could we see the market turn around and uh you know start to uh pull back so cpi what they're looking at, at the moment is year on year they're looking for a slight decrease of 3.4 percent so if it is at the previous level or higher than uh what they expect uh or the last data that could be uh, you know a real um bit of a knife into uh the chest and start to uh you know pull down some of that hope and uh, some some of the, the positively you know positive feelings that we got from yesterday after Powell's comments now the month on month and the core so the core is watched a fair bit at the moment they're looking for that to be slightly lower at 0.3 and the month on month they're looking for that to be at you know flat at 0.4 percent so I think a lot will come down to that retail sales in a lesser degree unless we see some really hot uh, figures come out retail sales with uh, you know retail sales data is expected at 0.4 so well down on the 0.7 they saw last time so there's a massive jump to the upside that could worry the market that things are a bit hot combine that with a higher than expected um, cpi data that could be enough to uh, start to worry uh, traders so i think really are we going to see a friendly cpi and retail sales data supporting um this you know market positivity positivity that we are seeing at the moment is that then going to transfer into further buying and a new test or break of uh you know the previous record high 
and you know this trend to continue or do we see a pullback and is that pullback going to be short term back to the trend and then will we see a new move higher uh, after that so a few things we are going to watch um, as we see that data coming out so the data is due out at 8 30 uh, eastern standard time and uh, or locally here at 10.30 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. So thank you very much for tuning in. We'll see what happens later today. Uh, all the best to your trading and bye for now.